Hi everybody and thanks for joining David and I today for our webinar. So we recognize how time starved everyone is these days, so what we've done is we've cut out the fluff and we're just going to laser focus on giving you exactly what you signed up for, which is our top five solutions to jumpstart your business growth. And we'll be wrapped up in about 30 minutes or so. But before we get going, let's do um, a little introduction. So I'm Rich, I'm the guy on the right there. I'm a veteran marketer and a passionate entrepreneur who loves to solve problems and grow businesses. I've got a uh, business studies degree and a master's in marketing and I'm also Google certified for analytics and AdWords. Um, you might be interested to know I'm a pro photographer, that's why the camera's there, and I'm also a partner at Custom Marketing. Uh, a few of my proud achievements so I've got a track record of always beating budget targets for businesses I've, I've worked for. Uh, I've broken sales records with Star Wars Trilogy. I've turned around uh, a really large business unit up in Canada. And I also sparked new life into Scrabble. So um, over on the left is David. The best person to talk about David is David. And we've got him here. So David, do you want to do a quick intro? Hi, everyone, and thanks, Rich. Uh, yeah, I mean, similar to Rich, I've got a strong passion for marketing, and uh, so much so that uh, I ended up going to business school, spending a few years in Boston, getting an MBA. And after I graduated, I applied the, what I learned to Fortune 500 companies. And, and a few of my uh, career highlights at 21st Century Fox and also at Warner Brothers, where I managed uh, the Harry, Fran Harry Potter franchise internationally, when it was the studio's largest and most profitable franchise. And right now I'm, I'm really enjoying using that experience working with large companies, to help small and medium sized businesses with our marketing, and also enjoying my time as a partner at Custom Marketing. Okay, so our skills have been honed both academically and more importantly, practically on these uh, Fortune 500 companies that we've worked for, and also global brands and early stage startups, not-for-profits, and uh, plenty of small to medium-sized businesses. And this is good for you guys because the solutions you're going to hear are simple best practices um, that we've gained from this extensive experience that are easily transferable to any business, including your own. At the end of this webinar, we're going to give you a link to our brand new free marketing plan template. And basically, this is the magic formula that David and I have used for uh, countless businesses generating um, literally hundreds of millions of dollars. And it works just as well for small businesses as you know, big Fortune 500 companies. And you're in luck because down the road, we're going to be charging for this template, but for now, we're letting people like yourselves benefit from it for free. So my advice to you is grab it while you can. So like I said, we're not going to pad this webinar with lots of fluff. We're going to dive straight in with our uh, countdown of solutions to grow your business. And first up is define clear objectives. Uh, this is a really simple practice, but you'd be really amazed how many companies we talk to just overlook this. And I think the problem is these days that most people are focused on the very short term. They, they kind of want instant gratification. Uh, for example, the number of likes on their social or shares or website hits. Well, one person that is not focused on the short term is Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon. In, in Jeff's uh, 1997 shareholder letter manifesto, he actually set out his clear objectives for the company. And believe it or not, this manifesto has been included in all subsequent letters for the last 20 years. Um, he actually defined his clear objectives as being the number one market share, which is quite a bold claim for a company starting out, and also to be the world's most customer-centric company. 
I notice he didn't say book company or music store. You know, his idea was to be a customer store. So once you define your objectives, the appropriate strategies and tactics to deliver them will follow. And Jeff believes that you should be stubborn on the, the vision or your, you, you know, your big objectives and strategy, but be flexible on things like the details and tactics. And we think he's doing a pretty good job because he's now the richest guy in the world. And uh, although David and myself aren't the richest people in the world, we believe in his approach based on our extensive experience. So you might be wondering at this point, how does this translate to a solution for your business? Well, firstly, consider why your business started in the first place. What was the original mission or vision that motivated everything that followed? Um, for Amazon, it was to be the everything store. And once you've considered that, you can then define your clear objectives that will drive everything else that you do. For Amazon, it included having the number one market share and being the world's most customer-centric business. Once you've defined your clear objectives, you'll be able to come up with strategies, which are the various ways that you will achieve those objectives. And there can be many. Each of those strategies will have their own tactics. And these are the specific tools that you will employ to execute the strategies. So as you can see, the most critical stage, at least in our view, is defining those clear objectives. They drive everything else, which is why successful businesses focus on these first. Um, the problem is that many failing businesses tend to skip ahead to the tactics without really considering how they relate back to the strategies or objectives. For example, they might waste time and money on a social media agency when in fact their target customer doesn't even spend any time on social platforms. And uh, David and I actually practice what we preach because here's how all of that translates to our own consulting business and you can just sort of read it there for yourself. Um, and I encourage you to at least think about and put these in place for your own business. So solution number four is understanding your target customer. And when we say understand, we mean really, really get to know them. A lot of companies say they have broad targets, and, and that's great. But there's a, a nuance sometimes to really understanding what makes everyone tick. So if you're spending marketing dollars against a broad target, you're obviously going to have a higher spend and probably a lower conversion. Now let's take a look at how skincare company Garnier does it. So what they do is they research deeply into who they are selling to. There's a precise description of their target audience. They have a target consumer profile against all their products. This gives them better targeting, allowing them to spend less on their money and spend less on their marketing and they convert more customers. So research is key here to understand our target consumer. And this research can be done at low cost with a survey tool called SurveyMonkey, or you can spend more if you've got the budget to go through professional agencies and focus groups as well. But research is accessible to all. And we took an example here of a property which probably most people are familiar with, which does have broad appeal and a broad target. But even so, we still need to really understand the target and narrow down the appeal by segment. So again, research was necessary to do this. When we worked on Harry Potter, we saw that we had to really narrow down the appeal by segment as follows. We saw that moms really loved Harry Potter, but they really wanted it to be safe, so we had to focus on safe so that if they brought the DVD movie home to their children, they wouldn't feel like there would be any scenes that were too scary or anything like that. With teens, they really focused on, they wanted to see the teen actors, and there was a, a slight female skew here, so that came out when we bought our advertising to focus on, on females. And our core fans were adults 18+, plus, and they loved the action special effects and stories. So we developed marketing materials and we set ad buys against each segment. And this is the same for virtually every product that Rich and I has ever worked with. So it's a model that we 
really feel is, is important if we're going to understand our target customer and grow. So as far as your solution goes, and as far as understanding your target customer, we recommend the following three steps. First, test your target hypothesis, and this can be done through online surveys or focus groups, depending on your budget. Then move forward and refine your target. It'll be refined based on demographics, geographics, psychographics, and the example that we put forth was with Garnier, where they developed their own target consumer profile, which represents everything from demographics to psychographics. And third, putting everything in practice. So you tailor your product and service and messaging to best represent your target. In this example, we've got you know, the target consumer loves natural ingredients in their products. Therefore, there's comments based on natural ingredients on the packaging. And this brand has gone a step further, and they found the perfect spokesperson for the brand, all validated through research. Solution number three, as we move through quickly through this presentation, get a specific edge. So what is a specific edge? Well, this allows us to differentiate ourselves from our competition. Here's three examples, which we feel you'll quickly realize how each differentiates itself from the competition. Dollar Shave Club, it's in their tagline. You're saving money if you work with them. Mercedes-Benz, you're spending for the best. So if you want Mercedes-Benz, you know you're going to spend for it. And Domino's, in a very crowded industry with delivery pizzas at a national level and also at the local level, the specific edge for this brand is delivered in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. So here's an example taking it down to uh, a local level. Uh, one of our clients, YMCA, we found a specific edge for them for their Thanksgiving 5K, 10K race. The opportunity here is that on Thanksgiving, that is the biggest running event of the day of the year. The challenge, however, is that there are many not-for-profit and for-profit organizations that put on races. In the Los Angeles area alone, there's almost 20 races. So how do you compete against that when a nonprofit doesn't have a lot of money for marketing? Well, the answer here was finding a specific edge. While other races position themselves as a you know, real competition, giving away cash prizes, you know, recruiting fast runners, and others were perhaps more teen tar uh, uh, millennial targeted and, and uh, young singles and having beer gardens after the race, well, we decided to take a family positioning and target families and moms. And if you look at the creative over to the right, you'll see that even the registration button has family pricing in it. And all the visuals support that family positioning for a specific edge. The result was a high percentage of females and families, and it resulted in a 33% year-on-year growth and 3,000 racers delivering the most revenue ever for this nonprofit event. So your solution, as you find your specific edge, we recommend to do the following. Make sure that you do what you do best, but at the same time, deliver what customers want. If this, these two align, you are ready for continual growth. Spend your marketing money here in this green section and get ready to grow. Solution number two, focus your time and money. Now this may seem obvious, but with the increasing complexity of today's marketing, it is the key to grow. We wanted to illustrate this with a pretty straightforward cartoon. I, hopefully most of you guys can, can relate to this, but uh, on Facebook friends, I was expecting a bigger turnout, right? So, you know, we're all aware of uh, social campaigns that may have a lot of likes, but you know, it doesn't generate any sales for the business. So this is a clear example of uh, you know, social media without any commercial strategy. So as we pursue, you know, focusing time and money on our marketing, we have to ask ourselves, what's the objective of our marketing tactic and how will I measure its effectiveness? And if we don't have a clear answer, but save our money until we do. So this is a really common example here with a social example of tactics before strategy. And tactics are easy, but strategy is hard. And why is that? Well, it's because when it's done right, 
there's a lot of complexity to manage. Here's a quick example for us of you know, today's modern company where you know, marketing consumer touch points are really ubiquitous. Um, there are so many ways to connect with consumers now in the digital age, everywhere from email to webinars to websites to online advertising, but then there's also the offline ways as well, through public speaking, trade shows, in-store, etc. So to manage all of this, we need a strategy and big picture thinking to focus and manage the complexity of modern marketing. Our solution to keep everything together is once your strategy is in place, manage your marketing activities in a single location. The benefits are huge. You can share with your team, you can share with your agency, and also keep all the stakeholders on the same page, literally. So manage complexity. Don't let it manage us. And this allows us to focus on smarter marketing spends and also allows us to grow. Right, before we reveal our number one solution, uh, some not so fun facts. Did you know that 50% of small businesses fail within five years, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics? That's quite a scary number. Um, what you also might not know is that 78% of businesses fail due to the lack of a well-developed plan, according to a recent report. So, you know, the, the solution there seems to be staring us right in the face. So that brings us on nicely to our number one solution. So here it is, our number one solution for jumpstarting your business growth is to have a roadmap to your business success. And what do we mean by roadmap? Well, we mean a marketing plan. And some of you might not be familiar with what a marketing plan is, so I'm gonna tell you. But first, I'm gonna tell you what it's not. Uh, a good marketing plan is not calling up a digital marketing agency and uh, paying them a monthly retainer to optimize your website. It is not setting up your business on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or LinkedIn, and just trying to gather as many likes and follows as possible. And it's not running a price promotion every holiday. These could all be good things, but they're all tactics. And without considering them as part of a bigger marketing plan, you could well be wasting your time and money. And uh, nobody wants to be doing that. So a good marketing plan is basically a detailed roadmap that outlines how you will go about implementing marketing for your business. Um, this detailed written document, which is uh, often in PowerPoint or Word simply because it's a lot easier to edit and you're going to have changes over time. Well, it sets out the necessary marketing actions, uh, costs, uh, timings and, and also the budget, basically all your business needs to, um, to achieve your business goals. And the good thing about a marketing plan is that it's going to really help your business in a number of different ways. It's going to help you stay focused. It's going to help you, your business stay on the front foot with things so you're not constantly fighting fires. It's going to help you understand your market, like David mentioned earlier, and coordinate your activities. It's going to help you manage growth over time, which is often where businesses fall down. It's going to help you align the various different stakeholders of your business. And ultimately, it's going to help you do the right things. If you're a small business and you're looking for funding, um, then it can also help you secure funding if that's what you need. So what exactly do you need to put into a marketing plan for your business? Well, although marketing plans can have many more elements than the ones you see here, these are the 10 that we consider to be really essential in 2018. Um, we don't have enough time to sort of drill into each one of these right now, um, but you can certainly find out more on our website and in the free marketing plan template that we're going to be giving you. They, we go into a lot more detail. But I can tell you that stage one, that's the top row there, that's the foundation elements. And these are probably the most important ones to get right. Um, so spend your time here and don't get distracted by all the little shiny objects or 
you know, sales messages that you might find online that, that basically mostly relate to stage two, um, which can be a bit more tactical. Uh, honestly, stage two can be the more fun stage as it involves more engaging and converting customers, but, but stage one is where you should be spending the bulk of your time. Stage three is also really critical as well. Um, that concerns profit management, and it's about ensuring that you're doing the right things to maximize your profits um, through things like pricing and budgeting. Okay, so what are the key takeaways from all of this? Well, as you've just heard, our top five solutions are firstly, define your clear objectives absolutely critical to everything else that follows. Understand your target customer, as David said early on, he gave you the three steps to doing that. Get a specific edge so that you are set apart from your competitors. Uh, focus your time and money so you're not wasting it and that you're um, doing things that achieve your objectives. And then lastly, have a roadmap to your business success. And a uh, favorite quote of mine is actually from the father of business consulting, Peter Drucker. Some of you might have seen this before. He said, it's more important to do the right thing than to do things right. And the point is that you could be doing a beautiful job with your social media campaign, but if your customers don't use it, then you're doing the wrong things right and ultimately wasting your time and money. And by following our top five solutions, it will help ensure that you are doing the right things for your business that will ultimately jumpstart your business growth. So as promised, our gift to you is the free marketing plan template. And this is the approach we've used for mega brands and we're giving it to you for free. David's gonna provide the link right at the end of this, so in just a, a moment. For those of you watching a recording of this, um, then just email us at the address given at the end and then we will uh, send you it right away. Um, note that it is self-guided, this template, so there are gonna be descriptions in there that will walk you through how to complete the plan for your business. Simply fill it in at your convenience and then just reward yourself with a job well done because you'll have plotted your path to success and be in a really strong position to save time and money through um, smart decisions. Just to wrap up here and let you know that uh, Rich and I here at Custom Marketing, we're, we're here to help you with your marketing needs. And, and a couple of the more common ways that we're working with clients these days is to start with a working session. And that's where we sit down with you for two hours. We do it in person or over Skype. We review all of your questions, your business strategies, and we provide a written recap report on our recommendations to you. And we'll also provide a, a free ebook that we've written, our top 10 marketing ideas. That would be our free gift to you. Another thing that we do is we develop full marketing plans for businesses. Many of you may need a marketing plan. Many of you may only need a part. So we're, help to, we're here to help you develop uh, whatever you may need. And if you have questions about our services, we do offer a free 30-minute consultation. So whether you want to understand if your targeting is right, if you want to better understand how to set up research to better define your target, well, just let us know, and we're, we're here to help. I'm going to go ahead and post our template right now for you to download, for you watching live. Uh, if there's any questions, um, please email us at these uh, email addresses. And with that, uh, I want to thank you very much for, for your time. And again, please let us know if you have any questions at these phone numbers and email addresses. And for those of you watching the recording, um, please just reach out and we will send you a link to the marketing plan template. And uh, we typically respond within 24 hours. So thanks everyone for your time. And we look forward to helping you.